Hey all Reckoners and welcome back. Today's indie game is Le Sunset Salto. I am currently on the road so uh, please forgive any sort of audio or lighting or you know any sort of things which are not up to my usual high high production quality standards. So this game's a little weird. Uh, before I start I want to say I highly encourage you to either play this game before watching me or play it in parallel with me, because this game is a... It's, um... To kind of grossly simplify it, I can boil it down to a series of rooms with puzzles. So you can play it in parallel with me. Um, this game is fairly tricky. Uh, it has built-in hints. I don't know how helpful they are, because I did not have to use them. So it's not too tricky. But uh, we're going to play through it, because I quite like the way... It's a very uh, whimsical game, so I wanted to bring that to you. So let's get started. Bam. So here we are, standing on a cliff with this beautiful background ambiance. The controls, I believe the only controls are the arrow keys and space. Um, this first puzzle, quote unquote, uh, involves some letters. So we're going to hit space to take a dive off. And the birds are going to start telling us letters to hit. Uh, oh, interesting. I haven't had. Usually they take a long time to reform like this between letters. Uh, once before I've actually had it be quick like that. I'm not sure what it is. But basically we spell out Salto, and then we're done. Um, typically they can be a little closer. Oh, even more letters you want, huh? Interesting. We're going to spam the down key, because that's what it wants. And the game has crashed. Okay. Okay, and we're back. Um, we dive in the water, you end up down here. Our goal is to touch all of these fish. Uh, the indication that this is what you're supposed to do, I presume that you're the same color as the fish. Since that tipped me off anyway, and I have, of course, kind of memorized where the fish come out. Which makes it a little easier. Uh, a lot of these puzzles are, you know, you're not going to get them your first time through. Just because of the timing and whatnot. Fortunately, uh, from that main menu, you can skip to any puzzle room thing you want to. So, you can skip that dive. I discovered that a little too late, so it actually did dove in many, many times, just over and over again, to get back. So here the whale comes, after you've done all that fish correctly. We're gonna stay put, because if he touches you, it's game over. Oh, he touched me. Okay, okay. so maybe we're gonna hang out a bit higher. This will mean... The risk here, though, is that if... <laughs> If I fail the next puzzle, or the, ne the the reason I'm staying low, if I fail by not going high, by going too high, then it's just as if we have to redo it anyway. So here we have to dodge these rocks. Come on, go down, you idiot! Don't swim into the sort of the cliff. Okay, made it through. Cool. Uh, so this this going through, I think you can skip this and still beat the game. I'm not 100% clear. I haven't tried it. Um, the game is short enough that you want to experience as much of it as possible. So here we're gonna go down. And this is the hardest part of the game, in my, in my opinion. There's a jellyfish just going crazy. And you kind of have to just kind of memorize his, his basic gist of his path. As you collect shards of a mirror. I have no idea how I died there. Uh, fortunately, this spits you out right there. Hmm. But yeah, this definitely takes the most number of attempts, at least for me, of any puzzle. Uh, th that number taking down in the bottom right-ish corner is your breath. Uh, okay, so we got it. There's nothing near us. Jesus, I hate this guy so much! I hate this guy so much! I think the trick here is to go up to the left. After getting that first piece. Ugh. So, I hate you jellyfish. Jellyfish should not be that fast. How fast are jellyfish? Is there some super fast breed of jellyfish I don't know about? Because I think of them as mostly as drifters. Okay, we got it, we got it. You can you can show me the... There's two of them, aren't there? Sometimes I see the... Oh, it's a shadow? There's one in the background. It's hard to tell. Don't touch me. Get the cuss away from me. We are also pressed for breath. That is a factor, as if, you know, things weren't hard enough. They don't want you waiting out the jellyfish. Yeah, so one more piece, that's all I need. One more piece, is all I... Frack! Okay. We were a great deal faster that time. 
So the pattern of the timer is a little different. Come on, just go away. Just go away, man. Just leave me alone. I've got 10 seconds of air. Okay. He spirals away. We are going back. You can see we hold the mirror aloft in our hands. We can get air from the surface. And here we go over to the mermaid. And we say, hello, mermaid. Presumably we bounce this light on her to warm her. I'm not really sure what the logic behind this is, but it's fairly straightforward what to do because it's the only thing you can do, quite frankly. And now I'm going to hit a bunch of buttons. Oh, I'm... Okay. Last time... <laughs> now you starve to death. Uh, last time I uh, kind of just hit all the buttons and it worked out fine. We're going to try again, though. Oh, wait. That's not what we want. I forgot you can... It's weird you can... They differentiate those two rooms. You can either spawn in this room without the mirror or below it. So, whatever. But you can spawn with the mirror, so that's good. So the point here is she's going to jump for joy or something. And we're going to jump and hitch her right on her tail. You're awake? Yes? Okay. Just spam that space bar. Poof! Yes, we got it. And we go for a crazy Mr. Toad's Wild Ride kind of a thing. And who knew? New, new mermaid lore about to be revealed right here. Mermaids can drill through rock with their heads. So, that's pretty dang useful. I'm going to hang out here for a second, because this clam's going to give us more oxygen. This is the only way to get oxygen without ending the game prematurely. So we're back in the ocean. If you go back up one square, it would have been to that first screen with all the fish. I want to show you something here. You'll notice in the little corner of that ship is a twinkly thing. If we try to approach the twinkly thing, we get rebuffed by the octopus. Fortunately, we do not get killed by the octopus, which is very good. Get some more oxygen real quick. I'm really paranoid about meters in games. Each bubble gives 10 oxygen, and 50 is the cap. So, interesting thing to note in this game, if you go onto a screen, you always spawn in the middle of the screen, which is interesting, so... It doesn't really matter which edge. We're gonna go up here. The whale would have been here previously, uh, but now it's a fisherman. And so, the goal of this is to uh, repel the fish by touching them, again, indicated by their color. And the fisherman's like, oh, there's no fish here, I'm gonna go to the next spot. I'm going to try something a little different, actually. Is the, is the jellyfish or the uh, octopus still here? It is. Okay, that's too bad. Too bad. Can I go through? Nope. Okay. Um, so this next part I'm just going to do, and then I'm going to show you something else and kind of talk about it, because I think it's a little bugged. But, um, I mean, that'll make more sense. Okay, so we're in the middle. Uh, now that the fisherman is here, it's a kind of glitch where we can swim through this rock and we pick up a lump of gold, so that's awesome. Um, the crab will kill us if we touch it. If we swim over to the edge of the screen, after claiming the gold, we get a game over screen. Congratulations, we did it, we beat the game. And you can see our little, um, stick figure guy, stickish figure guy in the bottom of the screen. He's holding aloft two lumps of gold, even though we've only claimed one lump of gold. Furthermore, the fisherman to um, my right, uh, I'm not sure what direction my character is facing, so I can't say, the right of the screen, uh, the Don Quixote guy, he is standing triumphantly over the slain octopus. Now, I have no idea how to trigger this. Um, if you go to the choose level, and we... Um, so the mermaids that we did, as is after the mermaid, we're going to go to after doing the fisher thing with the fisherman. That puts us here. Here, the octopus is going to come. We're going to wait for the octopus. He's a very fast octopus. We are going to wait to get hit right immediately. Um, so I don't know how to get this to trigger normally without doing this checkpoint. The octopus is going to go down. He's going to lift up the block. And then we're going to have to swoop in, grab the gold, and get out of there. Um, which we've done. Uh, and if we leave the screen... We get the same end screen. So, at no point do I ever get this shiny thing under the ship, and so I don't... It's a little bugged, I guess. Maybe I'm just completely missing something. Uh, you definitely shouldn't be able to swim through the rock like I'm doing. Uh, if you try to... If you swim over that rock... Like, so let's say after you do the somersalto into the sea, you can explore the entire ocean. Just don't do the fish puzzle yet. If you go over to that screen, you cannot swim through the rock. So, I'm not sure why it's swimmable, throughable at the point where I do. Um, 
But either way, I quite like this game. Uh, I, I'm a, I have a little bit of a weakness for esoteric puzzle games, when especially ones that I can that are doable by me. So that's a nice feature, of course. Wow, this song takes off. I hadn't listened to it that long before. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this was a Le Sunset Salto. Presumably a Salto is French for somersault. I don't know. I took French in high school. We didn't really cover acrobatic vocabulary. And that song just cuts off dramatically. Or abruptly, rather. But yeah, good job, Jan Stratch, on this game. Uh, very fun. Uh, pretty good looking, too. I mean, you know, pretty rough, um, pixel -arty. Rough in the sense of the pixels are large, but it looks really good. It sounds really good. Uh, I found it. I think this oddly is a cute kind of game. Because um, when I first, the very first time I booted up and played it, I, you know, so you spend a lot of time just kind of swimming around and being like, "What now? I guess I'm. What can I interact with? Is this the right way to interact with the thing?" Uh, the fact that I was, you know, able to sit in the game and do that for any period of time uh, means the game is pleasant to to operate, and that's a very important part, especially for puzzle games where you're going to be up against some walls sometimes. So yeah, good job. Uh, I recommend this game, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be, otherwise wouldn't be bringing it to the channel. Um, it's pretty much all I have to say. It's a short game, but pulled off excellently. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think this game was too challenging? Do you think uh, it could have been used in polish in little areas? Obviously it could use a little polish for that end puzzle. Uh, do you guys like the exo exoteric games with, uh, with no explicit story? I'm curious. Um, so yeah, leave a comment if you want to. Thanks for watching. Uh, signature sign off.